Morning, it's about half eight today. This is gonna be the second video in the M60 B44 build. Um, all the stuff sort of come now, so we're just bolting it all together, painting things, sealing things, all that sort of stuff. Spent some time over the last week getting all the engine bay prepped, painted, and ready for this new engine. So it's not going in a, a messy hole, if you like. This week's shout out is going to go to Steve at Central Hydraulics UK. He managed to make me a perfect power steering pipe. Um, only had the high pressure side made because the only one that I'm really worried about blowing off while I'm at the track. And um, we made that with double banjo on each end so it bolts straight on. Dead simple, dead easy. He came to me and did it so that was really nice. And I want to thank everyone who gave me all the nice comments on my first video. It does really help and I really appreciate it so thank you. Let's begin today's stuff. Gaskets arrived a, a day early, so I'm staying after work today to fit them. I was lucky enough to borrow this absolutely unbelievable snap on torque wrench, so it does torques, angles, all that sort of stuff that we need for this. Uh, the first part is 30 newton meters, obviously in sequence as you normally would, then 80 degrees, then another 80 degrees. So we'll smash all that out now and then see where we're at. So you've just seen us tighten both the heads down. We've got all the timing chain and stuff on. Um, timing wise, this little keyway in the crank points towards the crank sensor mount on an M60 timing cover. We come around here. Both of these are parallel to each other. And then you'll see both of these cylinder one lobes are pointing at 45 degrees towards each other. Um, this way is slightly a bit more difficult, but this lobe's pointing inwards towards the towards the other head. This one's pointing about one o'clock. And again, both of these that have the, the markings on the top are parallel to each other, which will then give us both the arrows pointing straight up as if it was parallel towards a cylinder um, and that should give us r roughly the timing that we're after obviously that gets tensioned by the upper timing cover and um, we've got some sealant out so we'll put the timing covers on now and then hopefully get it all sealed up so head gasket wise this is M62 that's M60 and obviously that used to join up on there and it's completely missing from an M62 air gasket so you have to cut that bit off and if we come up here that sits in there like that makes up the 2mm difference between lower and upper timing covers and if you look up here now something that's completely level whereas obviously if we didn't have that and then try to bolt everything down it would be 2mm out but it'd sit on these dowels and then you'd have a big gap and oil would just go absolutely everywhere so we're going to seal all that up and maybe get the cam covers on as well quarter past seven and I'm getting hungry so I've got the cam covers on I've got to make little brackets for these because those little mounts there are in a very slightly different position them on so 
We're going to make them work. Don't at me about my exhaust manifolds. I hate them as well, don't worry. Um, I'm going to make some stainless ones. Hopefully some nicer, nicer looking things. But yeah, cam covers on, timing gears on, sort of timed up. Um, probably get some ancillaries and things on tomorrow. Obviously got to sort that mess out because I dropped it and I bent it. Um, so we'll sort all that out. They'll do for a minute. Big coolant linky thing to go on here. Intake manifold, wiring loom. X5 oil filter. Don't know what you'd call it, but it's like an oil filter relocation plate thing. It doesn't actually incorporate the engine mount on this one, so it's nice and standalone. Big engine mount that needs cleaning up and painting. X5 oil filter lines, which give us a better place for the oil filter. Because we're running a Astra power steering pump, obviously it's electric. Standard one used to sit there, so we've rerouted the belt, got a shorter belt, and then I've just made like two little tubes. We'll space those idler pulleys off, that gives us a good bit of tension, so that's fine. Uh, intake manifold's on, obviously all the water pump and everything's on, crank pulleys all on, bolted up. There's the other engine mount, the other A's exhaust that we've seen before. Aids downpipes that we've not seen before. Starter motor, we are going to get away with the X5 one. That's just going to sit in there all by itself. That's then going to free up some space on that side. Obviously the alternator's on this side, starter's on the other side, so it should all balance out weight-wise, not that it really matters. Uh, clutch firewood on. I think we're going to try and put it in tomorrow. See if it starts, that'd be nice. Saturday morning, um, I've not filmed anything this morning, but I don't know if you can see it over there, it's all built back up again, ready for an engine. It's been raining, so I don't want to really get the camera out. I'm not going to say I've fixed that, but it's not bent anymore. It's not really fixed, but it'll do. Auto engine that we're now converting to manual. What do we need? One of these. It was in there. Like that and it supports the input shaft of your gearbox if you don't have it you will kill a gearbox if you're gonna lock tight anything on an engine please make sure it's flywheel bolts you don't need a lot just a little dribble the last thing you want is that flywheel coming back off because you won't get another shot at it you will be in a wheelchair massive lack of filming today i've been battling the rain so i really didn't want to get the camera out i just wanted to get it done but engine's in i'm going to build some oil pressure first and then see what happens sounds like we've got compression so the timing must be somewhat right um let's fire it up Massive relief. It runs. I'm going to end this video on a bit of a montage, so see you later.